Former Navi IGL Boomich is back in the news after appearing in a tell-all interview. He gave a more detailed account of his side of the story regarding his drop from Navi, his public divorce, and alleged drug use. The story continues to be both wild and extremely serious, so let's unpack what we've learned. In case you missed it, we already did a video covering the Boomich situation a couple weeks ago, so go check that one out if you want to get up to date before continuing this one. Regardless, I'll give you the long and short of it. Navi dropped Russian CSGO pro Boomich over reputation issues. Then his ex-wife, Angelica, accused him of physical abuse and being a drug addict before releasing a video of Boomich snorting an unknown white powder. Boomich then claimed that his ex-wife was blackmailing him and he was going to sue her for libel. Since then, things have been mostly quiet. That was until a Russian content creator by the name of Rise released an almost 40 minute tell all interview with Boomich. In the video, Boomich breaks down the entire situation from his point of view and even talks about his future in CS. But before we break this down, I want to make it clear that parts of this interview can come across as unusual to say the least. <laughs> So, what did we find out? Well, Boomich basically goes over his entire relationship from start to chaotic finish, so strap in. To start off, he states that the two met on an escort service, and he immediately grew fond of Angelica. But shortly after the two started dating, the relationship would become plagued with constant fighting and numerous breakups, both public and private. Regardless, Boomich said that he wanted to make things work with Angelica, and was even willing to help raise her child. He even promised to marry her if he ever won a major. Вот, я как бы давал обещание, наверное, вот просто не помню, ну как раз где-то в Мексике я сказал, что вот как выиграю чемпионат мира, я обещаю, что сделаю себе предложение на сцене. Later in the interview, the host asks Boomich about the photos of his ex supposedly supporting Russia during the invasion. Boomich says that was the most difficult time for him, and he urged his ex not to post anything pro-Russian since it would jeopardize his career. Boomich then claims that him getting kicked from Navi was entirely due to Angelica's provocative posts, and nothing else. Now, when it comes to the video of Boomich doing an illicit drug, he confirms that it's him, but says it was an old video. He then claims that he only did it once, didn't like it, and is, quote, against drugs. Негативно очень отношусь к котикам, и да, этот опыт, к сожалению, был. Был он в отпуске перед тем, как мы полетели в Мексику. Вот, и мне, скажу, не понравилось, и я не поддерживаю это. Now, in the case for the alleged blackmailing, Boomich says that during one of the divorce proceedings, Angelica took his phone and looked through it, trying to find something to hold against him. Now, before we continue, I want to remind you guys, this isn't just a CSGO pro who played at the highest tier. This is a man who's coming off of a major win. We have literally never seen this much personal information get aired before. It's unprecedented. Boomich later said in the interview that Angelica screamed at him in public for more money and ripped the gold chain off his neck. При, при всех людях, там она кричала, позорилась, потом такая мне говорит, все, давай мне 5 миллионов. Это когда мы уже заявление подписали, две подписи отдали, она поняла, что все уже. Ага. Вот, она такая, давай мне 5 миллионов. Я уже спускаюсь на первый этаж, там ее ждет мама. Я говорю, успокойте, пожалуйста, дочь. Вот, она начинает говорить мне, Лика мне начинает говорить, давай по-хорошему, стой по-хорошему. Ее мама такая, да, да, идите, идите, по-хорошему, отводит. Я говорю, нет, и начинаю выходить на улицу, она хватает вот так вот сзади мне золотую цепочку, рвет ее, я выхожу на улицу, там потом забегает моя мама. At this point, Boomich finally addresses the allegations of abuse he's currently facing, which are definitely the most important in this entire case. Well, Boomich revealed that the two are actually going to court over the alleged domestic violence, and it seems to be in relation to Angelica's claims that Boomich knocked her tooth out. In the interview, Boomich said that he already went to the the police and explained his side of the story. He claims that Angelica has a false tooth and lost it in the shower, but twisted the story to make it seem like Boomich knocked it out. Now, to our knowledge, Angelica hasn't followed up with any specifics regarding her side of the story. Her claims are still the same. Boomich knocked out her tooth. Also keep in mind that as of recording this video, we have no idea how far along they are in the court process. The interview ends with Boomich saying that he still has a passion for CSGO and wants to play at the highest level again. Boomich also says that after looking at his bank statements, he believes he transferred Angelica roughly 28 million rubles during their relationship, which comes out to around half a million dollars. В браке наше то имущество у нас никакого общего не было, вот, а так я посмотрел, конечно, вчера. Не, не, ничего вообще. Не было ничего куплено, это все фей какие-то догадки людей. Вот, а так я посмотрел просто вчера банковское приложение, сколько я лично на карту перевёл. Ну, скажем так, на содержание её и её семьи было потрачено вот лично на карту 28 миллионов. Еба! 28 yeah, million? Yeah. Since the interview was posted on YouTube, Angelica made several posts on her Telegram in response. When it comes to the money side of things, Angelica hit back, claiming that it was through her help that Boomich earned over 100 million rubles in salary 
prize money and stickers. She still holds firm that Boomich did drugs more often and more recently than he lets on and is willing to show the dates of the video and claims that she's been invited to an interview to tell her side of the story. There was also an eyebrow raising moment where Angelica suggests that if Boomich played like simple, then Navi wouldn't have parted ways with, in her words, a drug addict like him. She also urged for girls to be careful and avoid situations like the one she's in, but also levied some pretty homophobic statements towards Boomich. Later, Angelica made another post stating that everything she said was true, but also pleaded for Boomich to move on, saying that the past is in the past and they shouldn't dwell upon it. She said that she put her life back together from nothing and that Boomich should do the same. But why do we care? Why is this important to see us go? Well, to put it bluntly, this situation is crazy. We've never seen anything like this in professional CS go before, especially nothing this public. And it's gonna be interesting to see what orgs do in the coming months. Like I said earlier, Boomich says he wants to return to the same level of play he was at before. He's only 23 and led a team to a major. That's why I think he did this interview, not to drag his ex through the mud or clear his name in the eyes of his peers. He wants orgs to see this and think that this whole situation is not one that makes him unsignable in the future. Now, I'm not saying he's gonna magically join EG's 15-man roster. A lot of this hinges on how things go in court. We still don't know when the results of that are going to appear, but a lot hangs in the balance of that court's decision. And just like everything else in this story, it all seems up in the air.